<laughs> Do you think like right here? I'm standing on the south side of Broadway in between 3rd Ave and 4th Ave. We're on the north side of Horton Plaza, the old Horton Plaza, which is turning into the campus at Horton. And as you guys know, a couple years ago, I did a video about the soon to be coming campus at Horton. So here we are a year and a half, two years later, the old malls completely obliterated. What I said before was 24 hour fitness, Jimbo's and Macy's we're gonna stay as the anchor tenants. Slowly but surely, they're all gone. So it's all gonna be seven to 8,000 high paying jobs. What's really cool too is on the corner of First and G, which is Caddy Corner from where we are on the opposite end of the project, where Nordstrom's used to be, is completely torn down to the studs. As we all know, Nordstrom's was four stories tall. The new building is gonna be around 10 stories tall with a rooftop promenade for the employees that work there. So it's really just kind of transformative. We're in the heart of downtown San Diego. Everyone knows about Horton Plaza. No one ever really went to Horton Plaza anymore. So it's just gonna be really cool seeing this place revitalized as something that's gonna be for the people, by the people. Again, seven to 8,000 high paying jobs. And the developer announced a little bit ago that they did find an anchor tenant. So we're on the Eastern part of Horton Plaza or what will be the campus at Horton. So this is 4th Avenue, that is Broadway, that is E Street. Just to show you, the Balboa Theater will be staying. And about everything else, we'll be going. They'll be updating the park, um, new trees, new stuff like that, and you know, make it more for the people and the seven to 8,000 high paid employees that will be working here on the daily. What's really kind of cool is too, that the developer said that they've secured an anchor tenant for the campus at Horton, but he hasn't said who it is yet, but I've saw renderings where it's it said instead of Google, I don't know if that's copyrighted, can I even say that? It said Googie, G-O-O-G-I-E. I don't know what Googie is, but I'm assuming maybe it's Google, but you know what they say about assuming, you're probably correct. <laughs> But just to show you, which is kind of really cool, a lot of development going on and where the old Abercrombie building was is completely torn down. So this whole side, the garage and the Balboa Theater will be staying. What's really cool is if it is a Google tech hub, that's gonna bring a lot of smart people to San Diego. It's gonna bring a lot of money to San Diego. And what that's gonna do is, that's just gonna drive our values up in downtown San Diego. I've talked about Kilroy East Village, which is a tech hub. I've talked about East Village Quarter, which is going to be a tech hub at Tailgate Park. I've talked about the old Manchester project, IQHQ, which is going to be a life science center. I mean, you know, 5,000 jobs here, 7,000 jobs here, 8,000 jobs here. I mean, this is tens of thousands of high paying jobs moving to downtown San Diego. We've never seen anything like this before. And we're kind of on Broadway in the business corridor of San Diego. so. For the first time south of Broadway, there's going to be a lot of high paying jobs and business going on that's going to spill into the city. It's going to be something else. It's going to be really cool. All these people working down here, all these people shopping down here, all these people eating down here. It's really just going to do something amazing for our economy. I know what's gone on in the last year is really devastating for the world, for California, for the United States. Not to sound whatevs, but the silver lining is I truly do believe San Diego has been the COVID, the California COVID winner, whereas a lot of people are working from home, we're less expensive than Los Angeles, we're less expensive than San Francisco, we have better weather, and frankly, I think we're a more organized, nicer, better city. So, the people know this, they're moving down here, the, te uh, the tech firms know this, they're moving down here, Amazon announced a couple months ago they're adding 500, 600 jobs to San Diego. We're on the precipice of being the next Silicon Valley. I know I keep saying that a lot, but I truly do believe in what I'm saying. I truly do believe in what I'm selling. This is the time to get into downtown San Diego. You see how everything's going out in the burbs with these multiple offers. Stuff's opening up downtown. HOAs are being utilized again. This is the time to get down to downtown San Diego before all these people move down here and snag up your future place. I'm David Spiwak, Coldwell Banker Realty, a year ago to guy for all things San Diego, including updates on projects that have taken a pivot here and there, and of course, advice and real estate. I mean, where the old Abercrombie building was is completely torn gone, torn down. 
And what's kind of cool too is with California opening up, shows and venues and stuff going on in the California theater, in the Balboa theater, is gonna be starting soon, hopefully. You see a lot of uh, concerts starting and outdoors happening and stuff like that. So I'm excited for the Balboa Theater, not California Theater, Balboa Theater staying, having concerts, having comedians, having shows, and really just trying to get back into the swing of things. Canvas and Horton, geared to open up, I would say probably in a year and a half, end of 2022, beginning of 2023. So this is the Eastern side where the park is, where Abercrombie used to be, and kind of where the movie theater used to be up there, as you can see, it's kind of gone, but the Balboa Theater is staying, the garage is staying, and for now, the cars are staying. Mm -hmm.